Beautiful Aries, Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. I hope you guys are well. I'm here to do a end of October bonus reading for you. Um, it is coming off the full moon in your sign, Aries. Still, there's a lot of energies playing out. So we're going to go from that. Now we have the garden, the stork, the coffin, and the birds. Now when I was shuffling your cards, I was getting the feeling that you will be solving some sort of riddle um, some sort of something that got you uh, thinking and you couldn't quite solve what the problem was so I feel you'll be resolving that um, by the end of October so let's take a look at what's under the deck we have the mountain now the mountain tells me there seems to be problems obstacles in love that need to be resolved now this could be what you're resolving Capricorn energy we have the cross so definitely a card of burdens you know feeling depressed sad you know feeling like you're at the end of your rope we have the lily uh, could have been for some due to no sex life um, it could have been feeling isolated from your partner it could be, um, this person could be an older male, which is usually the card of the lily. The moon tells me that maybe um, this person could be Cancerian energy, or they're going through some sort of depression, perhaps being insensitive towards you, Aries. So, so far we've got Capricorn and Cancer, Air, uh, Aries energy, your uh, Aries up here. So we'll see what this is all about now the garden here is telling me Aries that uh, you know you could be meeting up with someone in in a public place going out for coffee maybe going out to nature the coffin tells me this person is feeling troubled in their relationship it's causing them a lot of grief the stalk which is you Aries is telling you not to worry positive changes are going to happen for you the birds is telling me all about communication okay love birds talking over the phone between uh, yourself now it could be another person there it could be a third party listening in perhaps now you know there, there may be it's telling you it's time to let go Aries as you see no change in this person Maybe, you know, perhaps some of you are going to move house, change your residence up, and uh, I do feel like you're going to have sad conversations moving forward with your life. For some of you, I feel like a relationship will evolve out of this. Now, with um, the mountain, there definitely needs to be obstacles resolved here okay like I said you're going to solve a, a puzzle with the cross the cross is telling me um, you know you're feeling at the end of your rope so you've got to make some changes in yourself okay now um I feel like some of you are definitely um, going to some sort of an event that may be cancelled or there's some sort of destruction there um, towards the end of November, uh, October rather. And um, maybe this is where the changes happen, Aries, in public. You know, could be gathering with friends um, at a public place. You know, it definitely it's telling you it's time to let go. Now, let's see what the Flower Spirit cards have for you, Aries. And you have to bear with me because I'm not real familiar with these cards as yet. So I'll need to read a little bit out of the book for you. Let's see what we have for our beautiful Aries moving forward. Thank you. That one slips sideways. So we've got this beautiful flower here and I have no idea what they are, but... I dare to be honest and speak my own truth. Okay, let's see what that's all about. Just bear with me for a moment, Aries, while I get the book. So we're in the blue. Okay, one. 
one second. That's the green and the blue. Sorry, I just got to see the color of this. Flowers all look the same. One, two. Yeah, it seems to be um, some changes that you're going to make in, in public areas after an ending. You're going to have some conversations moving forward after feeling obstacles and feeling burdens. Uh, you want just peace and quiet in your life. You know, you want, for the rest of your life, you want um, uh, stable emotions and stable um, feelings here. Okay, so this flower is called the Cyclamen. It's a message of truth. Now, it's telling you Aries that, you know, drawing this card indicates that the, this is time that's right to look at your past or maybe some area of your life that you have tucked away and ignored. It may be, you know, that you've been completely honest with yourself about how you felt or feel as a particular relationship. Um, for example, you know, being brave, daring to look at um, and witness how honest you are now these tiny flowers awakens a new possibility for you and it's going to reveal yourself truly on many levels you know it's offering you a rewarding opportunity to step into a new way of behaving that will influence your every moment from now on so um looking at a, a way to move forward, looking at how to handle people, talking differently to them, not getting depressed and sad and angry. You know, you want that peace and tranquility. So it's going to help you step into a new way of behaving. Is what I'm feeling. For you, Aries. So this is coming off your full moon, Aries, on the 17th of October. It is still playing out for you so uh i just wanted to do a bonus reading for you guys love and light to you all bye for now